Am I the only one who didn't know about the player who played a cup final with a broken neck? But Troutman's life story is one of the most remarkable tales in world football. Growing up in Germany, Troutman went through the Hitler Youth and later joined the Nazi war efforts. He was captured by the Allies during the war and he spent years in England as a prisoner of war. It was at the detention camps that his goalkeeping skills caught everyone's eye. After the war, Troutman actually settled in England, becoming Manchester City's first team goalkeeper. In the 1956 FA Cup final against Birmingham City at Wembley, something extraordinary happened. With just 15 minutes to play, a collision in the box left Troutman motionless on the Wembley turf. Little did anyone know that he had broken five vertebrae in his neck. English treatment in the 1950s for broken necks was world class. It involved rubbing a wet sponge on the patient's face and that actually allowed Troutman to continue playing. And he actually made some crucial saves after that, becoming an FA Cup winner. In the footage of him picking up his winner's medal, you can actually see him holding his neck as if he'd just slept funnily the night before. That was really mental, players were so much tougher back then. The reality actually was, and he only found out days later, that it was much more severe than a sore neck. Troutman spent five months in a plaster from hip to head. He could have died or been left paralyzed that day, but instead he played on, picked up a winner's medal and earned himself an honorable mention in this short video.